Hello Aries, welcome to a how they feel about you love reading. This is going to focus on your person, how they're thinking or feeling about you, if they're planning to do anything about that, and what is the potential outcome for the near future. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just keep that in mind. If it's not your reading, do not try to make it fit. It just wasn't your reading this time around, and that's okay. Check out my other readings for Aries. I have a whole playlist. Or you can check back next week. Or if you have other signs more prominent in your birth chart, you can check that out too. All right, Aries, let's get into this for Aries spirit. What messages do you have for Aries in love? Let's look at how they're thinking or feeling about you, Aries. And this will be a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, for Aries, how are they thinking or feeling about Aries spirit? turtle okay the turtle collects life experiences under their shell they are adaptable kind of go with the flow also I feel like they've been on like the turtle has been on a journey for a while let's see what else what is this person thinking or feeling about Aries Lion, okay. The lion is a master. They are strong, courageous, but the lion is someone um, not a lot of people know. They're a bit hard to read. Um, and they seem aloof, but that's because people need to take their time to get to know them. So I have a feeling that your person seeing you as this very strong, capable person, Aries. I feel like this connection has been one that's been ongoing with the turtle. Like it's been, it's gone through certain stages, phases, you know? Let's see, what can you tell us about this for Aries? Now, as I mentioned earlier, this will not resonate with everyone. But if it does resonate, leave me a comment and let me know how it's resonating for you. I read all of the comments. I cannot respond to them all, but I do read them all. How are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Let's see what we get here, Aries. How are they thinking or feeling about you? Well, wow, two of cups, queen of wands reverse. How are they thinking or feeling about Aries? So I feel like they see you as their partner. Perhaps this is a very uh, strong connection. But there's also conflict here. Five of Wands, Queen of Wands, Reverse. Someone's not happy here. This could be a jealousy, drama. Let's see, tell me more about this Two of Cups. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Three of Wands. Waiting with expectation, waiting to go out and see what else is out there. It's like they're waiting for you, Aries. Like waiting to hear back from you. Maybe this is a long distance connection. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Not able to put in a lot of effort or not really focused. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Why is this Two of Cups here? Wheel of Fortune reverse. So the timing has not been, has not really worked for you and this other person, Aries. It's like a waiting period. 
things aren't working out, perhaps because it's not the right time or someone, maybe they waited too long. So why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Two of Pentacles. I think the Queen of Wands reverse, they don't want to be seen as just an option. They're tired of being juggled. Maybe this is a priorities issue. Someone has too much going on to really give you what time and effort you deserve or perhaps this person has not made some sort of a decision here nine of pentacles freedom independence security having it all other than love can i get one more for the queen of wands reverse stress anxiety with the nine of swords so i feel like this queen of wands um King of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like the King of Queen of Wands reverse. This could be your person um, exhibiting these energies where they're not really thinking about how they're affecting you, Aries. Um, this could be you being very upset, not wanting to really listen to this person anymore because of all of the conflict. I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse. This could also be that your person's been juggling two different things. And there's been a lot of anxiety and stress here. Maybe they're unable to make a decision due to uh, fear. What's this Two of Pentacles about? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? This is about starting a new beginning, taking a risk. Too much going on, I feel, is keeping someone from making um, the right decisions here with the full reversed. This is someone that um, takes reckless risks or maybe the situation is too risky, there are delays in this new beginning. Um, get one more for this Two of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? I have a Queen of Wands reverse and a Queen of Pentacles. And then bottom of the deck, the Moon reverse, Pisces, Energy. So something I feel like you've realized or has come to the surface regarding what someone can give you or something to do with a commitment. I feel like someone has been going back and forth here, Aries, and um, it's just causing a lot of stress and anxiety in this connection. A lot of drama and conflict here. What's this Five of Wands about? What is this Five of Wands here? Page of Pentacles reverse. Yes, this, this is someone that cannot give you anything really solid or is very delayed. Ten of Wands. Perhaps because there's a burden here, obligations. Someone has expectations. There's a lot of baggage in this connection. A lot of time has passed here with this Ten of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Seven of Swords reverse, definitely. There have been problems in this connection. Um, someone I feel was caught doing something or you caught them in a lie or you realize that they were saying one thing and doing another. I feel like this person made promises they couldn't keep possibly here. And I think whatever actions they took have caused conflict uh, with the Five of Wands. This could also be a family situation with the Five of Wands. I don't know why I got that, but I, I thought of family members fighting, so that's probably for some of you. I feel like this person, um, for a small group of you, I feel like this person has had to make a choice between being single or being in a commitment. Like perhaps they haven't been able to really decide if this is what they want and um, they're just stressing someone out. Like this is kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, like somebody is, can't decide which one, which one. 
and you know this this going back and forth this delaying a new beginning perhaps in their mind is too risky to be completely free or something like that and i feel like this is this has to do with fear you know the fact that this decision hasn't been made or the fact that this is someone juggling i feel like there's fear here anxiety sleepless nights So let's see, what are they going to do about this, if anything? I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that I have in my shop. It's a printable deck, so you print it at home or through a printing service. It's on sale now. So let's see. And I'm working on making this into a physical deck. So let's see. What are they going to do about this, if anything, spirit? Are they planning to do anything with how they are feeling or thinking when it comes to Aries? What are they going to do about this? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Hmm. What else, Spirit? Past life. You have had a connection with this person in the past. Memories. Wedding bells. You're ready to commit to each other. Or someone could already be married in this situation. So, I think pure seduction. And there, there's paralyzing fear at the bottom. I really do feel like this person has been scared to make some sort of move. Um, it's almost like this person it's like they're tempted to do something that they shouldn't be doing because of you is what I'm getting. Let's see. Tell me more, Spirit. What is this person planning to do with how they are feeling or thinking about Aries? What are they planning? Three of Wands again. Okay, so more waiting. So I feel like I feel like this is this person's problem. <laughs> Maybe they're waiting for the right time and that just hasn't happened. Anything else? Knight of Wands reverse, unable to commit, false starts. Uh, Knight of Wands reverse, also they don't really um, complete a task or finish what they start. Anything else? The Fool Upright. So I feel like they want to have some sort of new beginning here, Aries. And it's like they're just waiting for the right time to make a move here. But I feel like this, it's, it's, it's almost like they, they're, it's almost like they're failing to commit to something while they're doing this new beginning here. Or perhaps they are waiting too long and they're unable to really go after something here. Let me clarify for Aries. We got a reverse. Why is the three of wands here? What are they waiting for? Why is this three of wands here? Four of cups, right? Like it's almost like while they're waiting, they might miss out on something. There's a lack of interest or satisfaction. This is someone that's closed off to new opportunities, doesn't really see new opportunities. Tell me more about this three of wands. If this is resonating for you, Aries, let, leave me a comment, let me know. Why is the three of wands here? The sun. Knight of Cups. So this person could be waiting to approach you with some sort of an offer here. It's 
expressing how they feel, apologizing to you. Have the Knight of uh, Coin at the bottom. So why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Four of Swords reverse. Someone could be restless, wanting to take action, but they're not really thinking about things like in a wise way. Six of Wands, right? This is someone that just wants to succeed, have some sort of recognition, but I feel like it might not it might not work out. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person, um, I think what's going on here is it's like someone's motivated to go after something, to go after this new beginning, to, to express themselves to you here, whether this is a love offer or an apology. I feel like someone's been waiting for this here. Um, and, 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 and it's like in their mind, they just need to, to get this done. Like they need to just go after it. But I feel like there's something off about what, what they're trying to achieve. Five of Pentacles this is someone that feels abandoned, is struggling, possibly struggling financially, someone who um, there's like a emotional distance, then they're out in the cold feeling left behind. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Why is this Five of Pentacles here? That's way too many. Why is the Five of Pentacles here, please? The devil reverse, Capricorn energy, breaking free, and then the moon, Pisces energy. See, there's something off here. Something hidden, something that is like hidden beneath the surface. It's almost like someone's trying to get this done, like, you know, in secret. There's probably something here that you don't know, Aries, or something that someone is keeping to themselves when it comes to this action they're taking. I feel like they're trying to rebalance the situation, but in secret, if that makes sense. What's this fool about? Why is the fool here? Seven of Wands. Why is the Fool here? Three of Pentacles. Some sort of resistance. Someone fighting for something here. Standing up for something that they want. There could be three people involved here with the Three of Pentacles. There could be some sort of challenge here with a third person. Five of Cups at the bottom. I feel like this new beginning, it's not going to be without some challenges. Can I get one more for the... F yeah, there's the Queen of Pentacles again. I feel like that Queen of Pentacles, that challenge is going to cause delays. I don't know who this is. This could also be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a boss. Because I have the Three of Pentacles here. I feel like someone wants to go after a new beginning, but it's not going to be like a seamless situation. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome for Aries and this other person in the near future spirit? Potential outcome, please, for Aries, this other person in the near future. We have the Hierophant Reverse, Taurus Energy, Broken Commitment, Rebelling Against What's Expected, the Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. This is someone who is extremely withdrawn, 
even like runs away from problems, kind of escapes reality, doesn't listen to advice or counsel. Tell me more. What is the potential outcome here? This could be somebody that's just very like far. Page of Pentacles, some sort of offer here and then the moon reverse again. So I feel like whatever offer this is, it's, it's gonna be a surprise offer, Aries. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Cups. So this is someone that um, really is, there's emotion here, there's feelings here. Someone who really loves you or perhaps there's just a lot of love here in this connection. Um, this is someone also who's very intuitive, compassionate energy. So I feel like there is some sort of offer coming your way, but at the same time, it's like this person's like running away from possibly a commitment or something where, you know, they have certain expectations to make this offer. It could also be that this offer comes after a long period of silence with the hermit reversed. Someone that's been, you know, so withdrawn, there's like, like there has been no contact. Um, this page of pentacles this is a very small offer this is something like let's meet up for coffee let's meet up here and talk i would like to date you you know that kind of thing it's not really a commitment uh but it's something with the potential for more you could be dealing with an earth sign. I have Taurus, Virgo, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, or a water sign. I feel like this person has just been, there's been a long period of waiting here. And I don't know if there's been some sort of distance here and you've both gone through like your own paths. You know, maybe one of you ended up married to someone else, even though you had a connection in the past. And there's just, with pure seduction, there's just always been this desire for each other. Um, but I'm also picking up, it's almost like in order for this person to approach you, Aries, they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. Either breaking a commitment or stepping out of a commitment with the Knight of Wands reverse, or maybe hiding this from someone that they know. Um, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. If you'd like to support the channel for free, uh, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It helps out a lot. And I will see you all in another video, Aries. Thank you so much for watching and take care.